Dear, the recipient of these messages from the Almighty God, Respecting your social, political, educational, and religious status, I have sent these precious messages to you, read it with concentrated mind, and decide what to do, if your decision is to throw it to the garbage, do not make it too far, because, I am quite sure you will search it desperately. But if you have chosen to respect the messages I say you have done well and you deserve all the respect and mercy from the Almighty God. Let's God make your mind open to all these messages over all facts, and also let's our Father show you the right path to his safe hand. With sincerely respecting you. The Almighty God Servant. This is a gift for the new millennium or by Ethiopian calendar a new year present. You humankinds listen. Open your eyes and ears to hear and see for your coming fate. Bsemabi vuld wemenefis kittis ahadu amelak amen. Slash amharic dialect slash meaning almighty God. On this unseen sin covered times, you humankinds, listen what almighty God has decided on your coming fate. On the following pages, you can find full messages concerning our coming destiny from the almighty God judging breathe. And if you have an interest to hear to the decision and judgment of his final say on every human fate, just read the following indicative preface before you go to read the main full messages. One slash before you decide to read these messages sent to you from the Almighty God, at least you should have to have some knowledge about what faith mean and to perceive this messages too, you have to have a bit of faith. 2 slash you must have to be a person of polite, honest, and sincere in every ways of approach to all humankind, to comprehend the way of life, particularly believing in the Almighty God slash faith slash, you must have to be so, to escape the coming hell you should put yourself in the hands of the Almighty God. 3 slash in this fully lost world, the appearance of these messages, created a surprise for few, but also for lots of people, who lost all themselves in these demonized world, these messages will be a fun and a laughter. 4 slash so many people may raise a question, why they did not heard about this messages for all these three and one half years, such men are sincere, it shows their eagerness to know the real truth, for this sincere question I want to assure you that I have done my best to make all nations know about these messages. I had given the full messages to all concerned governments and international organizations, like, the UN, EU, UK, USA, China, Russia, France, Germany, Brazil, India, Norway, Japan, and South Africa, Australia, Egypt, and before two years I had also given the first messages for 17 heads of states through their ambassadors. I am poor and a destitute son and servant of the Almighty God what can I do beyond this? I gave to your trusted government, to make you know must have been their responsibility, but they did not done as they are expected to do. Remember all humankinds, why did not your elected leaders tell you of this your fate deciding messages appearance? As to me the reason is, all today's leaders are demonized dedicated servants of devil, Though they seem sincere men of God, the fact is they are not, their real face is to serve the devil slash their master slash. Because of their devilish stand they withhold everything that may help you to stand for truth, every person who is standing for truth is an enemy for today's world leaders who are serving the interest of the devil. So they withheld the information that of your right to know. 5 slash those who do not know and respect their creator the almighty God, as the word of God says they will be given to a dull mind, that is the truth we are witnessing today. 6 slash all nations of our earth just think and see the reasons once, that are facing you today, are time world leaders of politics, and religion, as you see they cry too much about democracy, with this democracy mask covering themselves and they say and cry as if they are the advocate of all humankind, everywhere they swear and give their words of promise as they are the guardians of human rights. So, do these words have been done in deeds? Could you give your witness? I do not think so, on the course of your death, 
through all forms of destruction they promise you of your life insured, when you lose your job still they feed you a promise, but as you witness they bail out the riches, they are also the guardians of the wealthy men. Again when we come to the religious leaders, they too do the same, as the worldly leaders do. These religious leaders, if they are true servants of the Almighty God, they would have told you why you are on the lost demonized way, and also they would have told you of your coming destiny and fate, decided by the Almighty God, but they can't, because they too are devil's servants blinded by this world knowledge, power, greed, and money, so how could they tell you the way of salvation? 7 slash after these messages appearance, almost all leaders still hide the truth and tries to defend, the distribution of these messages. As you are seeing the symptoms of the coming hell slash economic crisis, financial crisis, natural disasters, deadly viruses, the hotness of the weather etc., slash they made it clear what will follow to this demonized world. 8 slash. As you are seeing it, the messages writing quality and grammatical order is not good, but I advise you to pay attention to the messages over all points only. 9 slash so many religious domains are trying to put an obstacle, to the distribution of these messages, but I want to tell them one thing, from this time onwards no more argument, no more time to do your hated demonized ways of dark rule living. The only thing you could get is what the messages say, and which is going to decide on your coming fate. These messages came not by the order of anyone, but only by the command, will and order of the only God who created everything whose name is the Almighty God. 10 slash before you judge the messages, read it with heart and mind and repeatedly, as all of us witness it, the whole world is at the brink of entering to total and full-scale destruction and annihilation, by the punishing hand of the Almighty God, so all necessary symptoms are now became visible, all forms of crisis, and all forms of natural disasters all are signs of the coming hell with unseen full power of destruction, so you better hear for your own self-safety, if you neglect it, it is up to you, you are created to differentiate the bad from the good, all decisions of the Almighty God is based on your own personal choices, today's generations are a fortunate one, because they have been advised, tolerated with multitude ways to repent. But humankind never taken it as a golden opportunity, but instead of it, he turned his back against the love of his creator. Now came the final checkmate, it is up to everyone to decide, the messages put everything in front of you, so it is up to you to read and know the hidden truth of your coming fate. I wish you good reading and understanding. Message 1. For all humankinds. Issued on November 7, 1998 Ethiopian calendar. Or. Issued on November 15, 2006 European calendar. This message is the first decision, IT could be referred as yellow light. Notices. Read the messages carefully. When you give to others you must give all pages. Don't subtract add or reform, if you did you will incur punishment. Give it freely, as I did to you, those who give you willingly, you can accept only your expenditure. Fax it, mail it, release on internet, website etc. Print it on magazines, newspapers, put it on air on radio, television on any media. For those, who never do in accordance of the messages orders, you must read from the order list, what punishment they are going to incur. No one is forbidden to do a nice duty. Neither he be a leader, or an individual, they are measured in accordance of their sincere and repented act. Every good acts start from a simple bit deeds. I wish you a good understandable reading. November 7th